Good morning folks, part 2 of trying to get the little mighty mouse to start. I got Ken here, I'm so honoured. Ken is actually doing this for me, trying to get the petrol. We've checked, yes, there is petrol coming out. We poured a little bit of petrol inside here, which I said I was going to do and some of you also suggested. And it did crank to life for a little while, so there is compression. It's just now we're wondering why is there no fuel going in. So possibly it's the AC pump because even when we pump the uh, accelerator that that cable is actually pulling the uh, throttle butterfly valve open. So it's not really jammed up. We're just wondering now why there's no petrol going in. So Ken has done something very old school. He actually uh, removed the petrol hose and sucked with his mouth some petrol through the fuel hose to get the petrol flowing. It's like, you know, when you have a heart attack and the blood is not pumping, yeah, you need CPR. Yeah, this is old school car CPR. Don't even think about doing this on new cars, yeah. It won't work and you might die. No, actually, you won't. But uh, I'm just, you know, saying that for dramatic effect. So, yeah, it cranked over for a while because after we poured petrol right into the car, directly into the carburetor, that uh, think of it as, uh, have you watched the movie The Rock? When... Um, when he, he shoots that, um, that, that syringe right into his heart or even Pulp Fiction when Uma Thurman is almost dead and they, they jab her right through the heart with uh, adrenaline yes, this is it that's what we did we, sh we shot adrenaline into the heart of the car yep. many of you don't uh, some of you maybe don't know but the heart of the car is not actually the engine Yeah, the heart of the car is the carburetor Okay, so let's see if that works. This is just from lack of use, basically. Lack of use. So you can see some. And so let's see how this works. Here we go, folks. Moment of truth. Yes! Don't want to rev too much because the engine is stone cold. Just keeping my foot lightly on the accelerator. If I remove it, sounds like it's gonna die. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I pull the choke, Ken? Don't pull the choke. Whoa. So let's see what Ken has done. Just to see. So apparently, there is no fuel in the tank, even though the tank says half, can uh, fix up an artificial kidney here to actually uh, suck the fuel directly from this uh, container. So Ken, what, what's the situation now? That there, there is fuel, the AC pump is working. Two things. I think the petrometer got problem or the tank got stuck. Ah, uh, the, the line from the tank. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, because once you put it directly from this container, yeah. the car started. Well, that's a good sign, sort of. Thanks, buddy. So, yeah, there you go, old school. That's why I say you need old school mechanics to do old school shit. Sorry, old school cars, like this. There you go, folks. Mighty Mouse has started. So yeah, it was a fuel feed issue. It wasn't the AC pump. There was fuel being sucked, but there's a connection problem. There is some clog somewhere along the line. Easy fix, but it does mean that uh, I might have to use that artificial kidney to drive to Kenzone, which is very dangerous. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. A few moments later. Howdy, folks. Mighty Mouse lives. Yes, she does. A lot of stuff from lack of use, a lot of dirt in this car, but she's running and she's alive, which is the greatest thing. Very, very happy about this. So you see, old school cars, even Ken said, why, wow, it's been about a year, right? So yeah, but she's alive and she's running and she's wonderful. So happy. Okay, I got some uh, judder on the on the brake pedal, and that could be very well because from lack of use, the uh, the uh, calipers 
Oh, the, the, the brake pads have actually stuck onto the disc. Calipers have stuck onto the disc. But, apart from that, yes, she's running, folks. She's alive. So, where, first stop, first stop, oh, much needed wash, and you'll see why in a moment. So, here we are at my favorite car wash, and oh, poor Mighty Mouse getting a much, much needed wash. Look at that. Ugh. I also cannot tahan to see like this. But yeah, proper wash and water wax should do it fine. Thank you for watching folks and thank you for joining the journey. Mighty Mouse is back. Oh yeah.